I'm here to discuss obstructed defecation or the inability to evacuate or have a bowel movement. The inability to have a bowel movement occurs because of several reasons, including stool consistency, the incoordination or poor coordination of the pelvic floor muscles, and problems with the anatomy of your pelvis or rectum that make it difficult to evacuate. How do you know if you have obstructed defecations? You have the feeling that your bowel movement makes it down to the pelvis, but cannot make it out. You have the sensation of incomplete evacuation when having a bowel movement. You make several trips to the bathrooms in order to feel completely empty, or you always feel like you're about to have a bowel movement, but can't produce when trying. Stool consistency, when it's soft like mud, makes it difficult to clean and to evacuate. Adding fiber to your diet so you're getting between 25 and 35 grams per day and about 60 to 80 ounces of water per day can help with this problem. Sometimes your pelvic floor muscles do not relax when they should, preventing stool from exiting the anal canal. Sometimes these muscles squeeze instead of relaxing. Oftentimes, pelvic floor physical therapy, specialized therapy that helps retrain these muscles, helps alleviate this problem. A stool placed beneath the toilet will help raise your knees above your hip, recreating the squatting position, thus opening up the anal canal and help empty much easier. Levator syndrome, or the continued squeezing of your pelvic floor muscles, can make you feel like you're always sitting on a ball or always needing to have a bowel movement but can't. This can also make sexual intercourse painful and can cause problems with urinations. Physical therapy of the pelvic floor can significantly help with this problem. Finally, problems with anatomy, such as rectocele, which is a weakening in the wall of the rectum, pushing onto the vagina, creating a pocket where stool is trapped and unable to empty, can also interfere with evacuation. Sometimes, changes in your positioning or stool consistency can help with this problem. Other times, a surgical correction is needed. If you're having any of these symptoms or problems, please see a colorectal surgeon for evaluation. We can help.